I know. Are you so dirty? Were you playing? Were you rolling around in the dirt? Did you get a gopher? I know you're so dirty. You're a dirty dog, right? All right, Luna ate her treat and now she thinks she's gonna get more, but she's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna jump right into the haul. This is a com combination of uh, thrifted items from a thrift store and the bins. So it's quite a few stops at both of those. And I don't remember all the details of which, but my average cost of goods typically at thrift stores is around $5 and my average cost of goods at the bins is usually right around $2.20, give or take. So let's just jump right in. In no particular order, what do I wanna start with? Oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. I'll just start with, <laughs> I'll just start right here. All right, so this is a jacket. Yeah, this is Michael Kors, yeah. Okay, so I know, I know jackets, we're going into summer, I understand that, but this is a overcoat or over jacket. I think it's men's, was it men's? Yeah, I think it's men's, you can see by the shoulders. Uh, it is just kind of classic. It also was just the standard Michael Kors line and it's not made in Italy, but I thought, well, it's a classic piece. I didn't see any uh, moth holes or anything like that. So I decided to give it a shot and some of the comps for these are pretty decent. I wanna say, some of the stuff I've listed like a week and a half to two weeks ago, so I can't remember all the comps, but I wanna say some of the comps for something like this or this uh, similar jacket were in the 50-ish range. So yeah, if I could get 50 or $60 for this, maybe coming into this fall, I would be thrilled with that. So that's the first item. Let's go right into another jacket. <laughs> Really, I should put like the anti-summer haul going into summer. Just kidding. It's a mix of stuff. But uh, this is a North Face jacket. I did try multiple times with Google uh, search, Google Lens search, to find this exact style. There was a style that was pretty common and had some decent comps, like 100 plus, but it, it's not the right one. It's not the same one, but that's what kept pulling up. And unfortunately, I could not find with any number on the material tag or with any Google Lens search this exact style, but it's basically a North Face puffer jacket, full zip. This is a North Face, the North Face size small, men's, and decent shape. I think there were a couple uh, like scuff marks on there from winter, you know, winter activities probably, but uh, I think the comps for that, without knowing the exact style, were in the 40 to 60 range as well. All right, <laughs> this one's gonna be an odd one, but I have sold this brand and I was pretty excited to find it. This is a Sitka, S-I-T-K-A is the brand. I sold a t-shirt by this brand very quickly. And these are a pair of base layer pants obviously by the camo, you would assume that this is probably a really great item to hunt, um, go hunting with. So yeah, a lot of these, there's um, I think three different types on their website. There's a like ultra light, there's a light, and then there's a medium or something around there. Anyways, I weighed this on my scale, compared it to um, some of the weight options on their website. Also on the details right here, it does say in very faint writing, 100% merino wool. So anyways, I believe this is, it wasn't, it was just like the light one or something like that. It wasn't the ultralight, but I did list this. Some of the comps for these were right around that 50 mark as well. So I guess everything so far is right around the 50 mark. All right, let's pull out a girl's item. I don't know. All right, this is a Vince jacket. Now Vince, I don't pick up very often, but this was at the bins. And I thought it was kind of a nice career piece that could be worn three seasons out of the year or even four because it's not a super heavy jacket. It also has a little bit of the moto flare, but it is full zip and there's kind of this raw hem because it kind of has a little bit of, it's not perforated, but it has a little bit of, you could see airflow. I think it's cotton. Anyways, I just thought it was kind of a nice jacket. You could wear this with a t-shirt and jeans and a cute pair of pumps. And this would be a really great outfit if you have a casual, business casual office. This is definitely something I would have worn to one of my business casual jobs. So I thought that was pretty great. I don't expect too much for it though. Uh, I think the comps for that were right around the 25 to 35 range. So keeping things realistic. All right, here's a pair of Everlane jeans. And this style is, I feel like I couldn't, could I find the style on this? Okay, this is the wide leg jean. 
Uh, and these are a size 27 regular. So they are a high rise. They're not super wide leg. They're almost more, yeah, they're kind of a mild wide leg, but uh, I think this is again, this would be really great with that Vince jacket, with a t-shirt and these, again, a pair of pumps, that'd be a really cute look. So yeah, Everlane is hit or miss. If it's at the bins, if it's in good shape, uh, I am happy to pick it up and some styles high rise wide leg that's a little more desirable than some other older styles from Everlane so I was happy about those okay I have found this style before uh, once before but they weren't in great condition so I had to leave them behind but this is actually my first time I believe picking up ridge rib cage straight Levi's I know these are old news. <laughs> I know these aren't like a new thing, but sometimes you just see people, especially on Instagram, they post like the little label label shots. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those things I see a lot and I'm like, I've never picked those up. So anyways, the dog is now drinking water. Up, up. Okay, you wanna lay down so you can, you can be the participant in the video? Cause you're my good dog. I know, I'll let you go get a gopher in a little bit. She is on gopher patrol today. All right, so anyways, these are a size 27. These used to have pretty great comps. They have dwindled a little bit. So I think the comps for this size and style are in the 30 to 40 range for a lot of them. So, I mean, I would love it if I could get $40, but probably I'll be closer to that 35 mark. I love this blouse. Uh, I actually own a dress by this brand. I should probably sell it because I've never worn it anywhere. Uh, I did buy it pre-owned and thought, well, if I had a wedding or something to go to, <laughs> but anyways, this is a Aritzia brand and it's called Tularosa. They may sell this at Revolve and a couple other places. I don't think it's exclusive to Aritzia and I hope I'm getting that right. But anyways, it's just a really adorable semi-cropped or short style top. It's lace. It's got these adorable kind of bell sleeves and this is a size small. I think, I think I was able to get this on my mannequin, but anyways, the comps aren't super great. I mean, it's not huge money, but it's a cute style. And again, with a pair of jeans, even those Everlane jeans, again, that would be a really cute outfit. Um, I think the comps for that were right around 25, maybe up to 30. All right, here's an anthropology. This is, hey, 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 hey. I don't know. I haven't had enough coffee today. All right, so this is a size small. This is a full zip. Yeah, full zip with some snaps on the front. It's kind of a crop style jacket. And if you can see right here and on the center, it's got this camo print. I believe this is a linen or linen blend. So it's kind of a lightweight jacket. So perfect for spring, even summer on a cold night or you know, chilly night, a brisk night, and um, definitely going into fall. Yeah, so it's linen, 45% linen, 45% cotton. So it's a nice natural material, lightweight, and the comps for this aren't that great. I did find the exact style, but I'm still hoping for probably around 25 for that. All right, this is definitely not the right season, but fall, I mean, come end of July, beginning of August, when people are done with summer and ready for fall and they'll get excited for it, that's not that far away. So um, I, in my mindset, I remember hearing someone when I was first a reseller, that you should always be shopping a season ahead. So if we're going into summer, you should be shopping for fall. Now, it doesn't mean you can't still pick up summer items. I for sure am. But um, this is, is it Aaron or Aran? A-R-A-N. I'm not sure on the pronunciation, but sweater market. And this is from Ireland. It's 100% pure new wool. And this is just a little kind of cape or a poncho style. And yeah, it's a one size fits most. It fits nicely on the size six mannequin and I really love the color. I don't love the color for myself. I'm not a big um, pink person, but I think someone would, would really rock this. And some of the comps for similar items of this brand are 40, 50, which is great. All right, here's a wild fox sweater. It is, yeah, it's got a little distressing right there on that corner, that's intentional. Wild Fox does have a whole line of sweaters that have uh, a lot of distressing. So this is Wild Fox, size small. This is just a cropped little sweater. Again, I think this would be really cute with a pair of shorts, a tank top underneath, something you could easily, on a chilly morning or a chilly night, have as a layering piece. And yeah, it's a nice neutral color, which I love. So just a quick break for the sponsor of today's video, which is Flexi Spot. This standing desk behind me is 
awesome. It's been a complete game changer for me. This is typically where I do most of my shipping. This computer is separate from the computer that I typically move around the house. It's kind of one of my older computers. So I just have this all set up so I can easily create my labels, ship out my items and have it all neat and tidy back here. And this desk has a lot of features that I just wanted to share with you. So one of my favorite things about this desk is how easy it is to move up and down. Now I typically almost always have it standing, but there are two ways to have it move up and down. I can press this button just to move down easily. I can move it up or there are presets. So I actually have my desk preset for a standing for me and a sitting for me. And then if I had a partner that was using this often, I would have them do their presets here as well. There's also a couple of USB ports. This is also a different way that I can uh, charge my phone. I typically always have one of my older cables in here. And then if I want to sit down, I can just press the number two button and it automatically moves down to my preset height for me to sit, which I think is fantastic. I also like that there's a small drawer right here. I typically keep just a few basics and uh, I still have my closet over here, which is where I keep all my shipping supplies. So I'm nice and organized and it just holds everything I need while keeping it really clean and organized in here and I think it goes great with my Peacock. So if you want your own flexi spot standing desk, I would highly recommend it. I do have a discount code below, so feel free to use that. Go look at their site, see all of the different options for their standing desks. I'm in love with this one, and I will be sure to put on the screen which exact desk this is in case you like this style. But again, thank you Flexi Spot for sponsoring this video. Back to the haul. All right, I saw the colors on this and I thought it was absolutely adorable. This is La Vie, which is a line by Rebecca Taylor. Now, Rebecca Taylor doesn't do all that well for me. So in the store, I actually did a Google Lens search of this and I saw that some of the comps were pretty good. I think the only one listed for this was like $80 or $100 or something like that. I don't think they're gonna get that. Uh, I think someone's um, pricing a little too high there, but it is absolutely adorable. I love the stripes and it's nice and casual, but still has a statement. It feels nice. Again, this is a nice layering piece. It's um, nylon, acrylic, mohair, and merino wool. So it's a nice combination of fabrics, but yeah, the tag right here is the stitching on one side is coming off, but that's not a big deal. And yes, I could restitch it, but I'm just selling as is. So it's starting to get like summer weather here and it's like the perfect summer weather where a lot of our days are between 75 and 85. I don't have air conditioning. So right now my house is at 78, which seems a little warm. I feel like I'm a little dewy, but uh, tonight and summer nights, I typically go work outside on my deck. And it's my favorite thing about summer because there's just a nice breeze and it's just one of my favorite things about summer. So um, anyways, this is a free people beach. This is a size medium. And I believe that when I found the stock photo of this, this is a mini dress. But when I say mini, I mean mini. I think the top to bottom measurement was like 32. So mini. <laughs> but it was absolutely adorable in the stock photo. It's got a little bit of the dolman sleeves. It's got this ribbing, the ribbed uh, look as well. And I just thought it was adorable. I love the color. If this was, this is definitely a color I would wear. It's, it's a shade of pink, but it's more of that neutral beigey pink color. Looks like it has a little discoloration, but that's just kind of the fabric. It's not, um, it's not discolored. So it's also been in a bag for, <laughs> for a week and a half to two weeks. So anyways, all right, I do have a few solds. So I'm going to have to go get my computer at the end of this video and share a few solds from the last couple weeks of things that sold quickly, um, from these same days, but this one actually sold today and it's one of the more recently listed things. So this is Patagonia size large. This is the, the style of this dress is, is it the Margot? I can't remember the name, but there's a style of dress, dress line by Patagonia and it has this kind of fit and flare, faux wrap looking um, style. I've sold it a few times. It usually doesn't get too much money, but I knew this was size large, it's the right season. It's a really great travel dress. My only complaint with this for a travel dress is there aren't enough like hidden pockets. A lot of really great travel dresses have like one zipped hidden pocket if you need to keep stuff, if you're going to see sites and stuff, but it is still a good um, piece to 
run around and do a variety of things. So anyways, this sold, I want to say it sold for around $30 and it only took a couple days to sell. So that's great. That's going to be, be going off. I should have thrown that somewhere else, but all right, this wasn't, it wasn't a new brand to me, but it was new for me to pick up. Um, I think I found it one time and it was a tank top or something, but it was damaged. So I had remembered looking this up. It looked somewhat familiar. O-T-T-O-D apostrophe A-M-E. Otadam. I don't know. I don't know what the apostrophe does here. It's French, but it says underneath that, love you till tomorrow. So I don't know if that's the translation, but thank you if that's the translation to the brand. Anyways, they do occasionally sell this brand on the real reel and thread up and it's not a cheap brand, but the comps are pretty mixed. So this is actually a dress with kind of a high, almost a mock neck. It does have just a slight cutout at the top of the back of the neck with three buttons right here. I know it's a little hard to see because it's the same, you know, fabric or a print all over, but it is a long sleeve dress, mini shift style. So yeah, um, I can't remember the size on this. I want to say it was a size six in US or something around there because I think I was able size eight. So I did put this on my size six mannequin and it was pretty cute, but it's kind of a dark gray bluish color. It's almost like a muted color, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of my first, or it's my first time trying to sell this brand. And the, as I hit myself in the face with it, uh, and I think the comps, like I said, they were pretty mixed, but I'm hoping for maybe around that 40 mark, 35, 40 mark is what I'm, what I personally am aiming for. All right, another men's item, and this is, the brand is Norse, N-O-R-S-E, Projects. Now, I picked this up because the size, XXL, also the material content. So this is 100% lamb's wool, I believe. So it's a nice, natural um, material, and it had the style on here called the Sigf Siegfried. Anyways, the material text says, established in 2004, Copenhagen, Denmark, created to improve life, good for all seasons. Yeah, anyways, so because of that, I thought, well, XXL is a great size. It's actually in really great shape as far as condition. It's a nice neutral color. Again, this is a really great fall going into winter piece. So I decided to pick it up. Now comps for this brand, some things sell for $10 and some things sell for $100. So all over the place, when I did look up this exact style, a lot of them were in the 40, 45 range, I believe. So that would be fantastic. So today is Friday when I'm filming. Tomorrow we are having, oh, geez. We are having a small service for my dad. Um, if you don't know, my dad passed away a little over a month ago and hmm, <laughs> collecting myself. Anyways, my three aunts from Portland, Oregon are coming down. And I haven't seen them in a while, so I'm excited to see them and have some family time. So I wanted to get this video filmed so I could get a video up this weekend. But um, yeah, it's it's an emotional weekend. Oh, geez. <laughs> all right. Got to focus on the clothes. And I appreciate all of your kind comments over the, the last month, month and a half. I really appreciate it. I, uh, I would talk about it more, but obviously it's hard. Um, but I got some sweet cards and I really appreciate it. And just the comments and just you guys' support. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, the support and love in this community is incredible. And it's meant the world to me. So I appreciate you all. Even if I have never met you or never talked to you directly, you guys watching and your your comments and support have meant the world. <laughs> so maybe this wasn't the best time to film, but keeping me busy has been good. So I appreciate you all. <laughs> and sometimes you have to show the real side. And um, okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, I am good. I am good. But I'm sure you can understand. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so um, sundry. <laughs> um, this is a brand I do particularly well with, not with, um, extremely high resale value, but it usually sells fairly quickly for me. 
And, uh, and I think I have a hundred percent sell through rate. I actually think usually, I think pretty much everything I have listed has sold by this brand, either on eBay or Poshmark. Uh, and usually in the range from 20 to $40. It just depends on the piece, but it typically does well. Now they do have uh, vanity sizing. So size one is equal to a size small. So their website has um, their sizing structure, but this is just an animal print hoodie, lightweight. I think it's got a little kangaroo pocket right here. Now, a lot of their stuff does have pilling all over. That's kind of like wild fox. Some of the wild fox or a lot of the wild fox has pilling all over and that's just the style. So I do note it because I did have someone return a sundry item to me um, because they said it was pilled all over. I assumed people knew that that was the style, but I do, if I can remember, try to note it in listings just to have that extra layer of security. And I do say it has pilling all over, which is an intentional part of the style by the brand and is very common by the brand or something to that effect. But anyways, this will probably sell for right around 25, maybe up to 30. All right, this is a... Oh man, I always forget. <laughs> I will write it on the screen. Uh, I just had this in my what sold video. I sold a skirt by, um, and I, I don't know how to pronounce this, fuzzy or fusy or something to that effect. And I will write the designer's name, um, the house, the designer's house that also produces this brand as well. But uh, this, pro this dress probably retailed for six, $700 if I had to guess. It's just a sheath dress. It has kind of a little bit of a, faux wrap right here and it does have kind of more of a sheath fit but I do like this print it does have a zipper up the back and this is a size small uh so yeah the skirt I sold was over $50 but that was in the mesh almost like a, a Y2K um, type of, of look that one is a little more career focused so I don't think I'm going to get over 50 for that but maybe I'll get over or maybe I'll get around 40 so <laughs> I don't know where the other shoe for this is, but I do have some shoes. Oh, I have some, I have a bag of shoes here. Maybe it's in there, but this, uh, I have some sneakers, which I was excited to find at the bins because I'm usually always late to the party at the bins on sneakers. This is actually a brand I sold once before, which is Arch, A-R-C-H-E. And it's made in France. This is a size... I think it's a size 40 and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it says it on the bottom. Yes, 40 and a half. But when I looked at their size chart, this was in between, which I thought was really interesting. It was in between a size and a nine and a nine and a half. Nine and a, nine and a nine and a half. Uh, they actually have it, US size, it just skips on this size. So 40 is a nine. A 41 is a nine and a half. The 40.5 is in between. So I just noted that as I clearly as I could, but this is kind of a suede. It's got the little strap right here. Um, and the last time I sold this brand, it was sold pretty quickly. I want to say the comps for a similar style to this were around the 35 range, if I recall correctly. All right, here is a cardigan. Again, I know this isn't summer wear, but it is COS, which is a higher end line by H&M, part of the H&M family, but not, but it's actually a pretty pricey, um, line and it does fairly well with me it has faded in comps for me on the pre-owned market over the last year or so so uh for this i'll probably get somewhere around 30 to 35. i feel like a few years ago the first time i found it it had higher comps overall for the brand but there are still a lot of people who like finding it so or like buying them all right this was a bins pickup um, and I have sold my fair share of Chico's, but it usually doesn't get too much. Now this retailed for $125. It is new with tags. The white tags were always a little hard. And this is a size two by Chico's, but that is equivalent to uh, size 12, around a 12. Uh, so anyways, it's a button front kind of blazer. I feel like this would be really adorable with a pair of jeans, a cute pair of black pumps and a black um, tank under. I feel like that would be a really cute outfit. Um, so I think the comps for this, probably I'll get somewhere between 25 to 30 for this. And I don't expect Chico's to sell very quickly, but it eventually will sell for me. All right. This one, this I posted on Instagram. And again, some of this stuff, it's been <laughs> two weeks since I've listed, uh, but I do have some fun videos coming up that's also affected some of my listing. But anyways, I did post this t-shirt on Instagram with a poll asking if you would buy this t-shirt. 
And if you can see the new tag price or the MSRP, the new, the retail price is $14 and 90 cents. It's Uniqlo. It is a collab and there's a little graphic. So I asked on Instagram and I think the breakdown was like 70% people approximately said they would not pick this up, which makes sense. I get it. But if I've learned anything is that some collabs, even with Target or anything, even if it's an affordable brand, some collabs can hold a resale value and have a strong resale value. And so it's worth looking up. Now, Uniqlo, I am not opposed to picking it up if it were new with tags, maybe like a little lightweight puffer jacket or something like that where I could maybe get 20 to 25, but it's a pretty affordable brand. Uh, this is obviously very affordable, <laughs> under $15, but I will maybe insert some comps somewhere uh, to show that some of these were selling for, I think, over $100. And now this is a size small, and I think a, a number of them were selling for that price were closer to like a large or extra large, but... This exact t-shirt, new with tags, a number had sold for a decent amount, way over the MSRP. So uh, I did list high. I think I listed this at 99 or 89 or something around there. And I am hoping for 70 around that mark. So we'll see. I mean, if it doesn't sell quickly, I'll obviously lower the price. I can't remember if I have any watchers on it or anything like that. But I, I, I wouldn't say look everything up, but I would say if you are a somewhat experienced reseller, or if you just watch a lot of YouTube content and you know that sometimes collabs can do well, it doesn't hurt to look up collabs. It's pretty quick. So, um, and trying to find the exact style because not everything from this collab was doing that well. Certain things were doing better than others. So again, you can usually do a Google lens search or like I described that one and it popped up. So anyways, all right, this actually sold. This was another bins pickup, Chico's. Uh, this I actually bought, I believe a couple months ago and I thought I was going to wear it for a real estate video and I just never did. And now we're getting into summer and I was going through my closet and I thought, no, so I actually never wore this, but I did buy it at the bins. It's Chico size two. It sold for $20. I only had it listed for 25. Um, but it's just a kind of moto style jacket. It's got a little bit of texture and yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, I probably paid, you know, two fifty three dollars for this. It's probably right sitting right around a pound and um, for 20 bucks. Yeah. Again, I thought I was going to wear it. So that was part of it. But sometimes you just have to sell stuff in your own closet. <laughs> um, all right. So this is a Victoria's Secret. I actually had this in my closet. <laughs> I think there's going to be a couple things. Uh, but these were all bins pickups that I do not believe have been in any video. I usually only show things in videos that I've taken photos of and have listed. So Anyways, I thought, oh, this will be cute. Just kind of throw this on when I'm walking around my house. It's just a little robe. Um, and I usually wear, yeah. Anyways, so um, it's a one size fits most. It's nice and lightweight and floral. And I just never wore it. So I decided, why not? It's cute. I'll sell it. Uh, now, this is the gold label by Victoria's Secret, which some people think has more value. I have never found that to be too true. Um, but I do usually write gold label on there and I think I'm probably expecting about 20 to $25 for this. All right. Yes, definitely. So this I actually did wear quite a few times, but I'm deciding to sell it because again, we're going into summer. It's Duluth trading company. I've worn this outside doing yard work. Um, but I just decided I've got a lot of flannels, so I'm selling this size XL and yeah. So Duluth Trading Company, I do like picking up occasionally if it's cheap, you know, a couple dollars or less. Uh, I don't typically spend too much on it, but I would look up the piece. With that one, I think a lot of the comps were sitting right around the $25 mark. So, all right, this is Free People. And again, this is something I wore one or two times. I just wasn't wearing it a lot. I probably won't wear it a lot this fall. It kind of has this embroidery. So I did find the exact style got embroidery at the top back here. This is a size large. Again, this fit great, but I just wasn't using it. So, but again, those were bins pickups uh, probably a few months ago and I don't think they were ever in a haul. So hopefully that's okay. <laughs> it was bins at one point. All right. This is Zara new with tags. Now the funny thing about this, I had this hanging up on my rack and I've just been really trying to get some of my older stuff listed and working that stuff in. I picked this up at a thrift store a while ago and didn't realize there was a security tag on it. 
but I saw it was new with tags. It didn't set off any alarm at the thrift store and they don't allow exchanges or returns there. So this is a size medium. It is a linen blend trench coat, green trench coat. And the problem was, was it had the security tag on there. I have a magnet to get security tags off, but sometimes it doesn't work. It's worked on everything except this one item. And I let it sit up there thinking someday I am going to tackle this. Well, <laughs> if you can see right here, so this is the, this is the seam on one side, if you can see. So about not up to the waist, but right up to here. I don't know if you can see the measurement, but 18 inches up, there is a pull in the fabric. So what happened here was that was where the security tag was. And I finally tried the lighter method. I can't advocate for it, but because my magnet wasn't working and I was basically just going to redonate this, um, and I didn't want someone else to go through the same thing. I thought at the very least, even if I damaged the item, I could try the lighter method to get the security tag off. And even if it has a little damage, I still might be able to resell it or I could donate it and someone else could buy it. And at least I don't have to worry about this annoying security tag. Anyways, the lighter method worked to a degree, but it didn't work as perfectly as all the videos said. So I still had to pull a little bit of a pin through and that did pull a little bit of a hole. So I just noted that it's still new with tags. It's still a... Uh, a great trench coat and I think the comps for this were right around 40 to 50 new with tags but because there's a flaw I'm only probably expecting about hopefully 35 I don't know <laughs> we'll see all right here is a dress a little cute summer dress with this adorable subtle print all over it if you can see and are we getting some weird lighting I think the weird lighting is on its way to me so we might have to move but <laughs> so this is Roberta roller rabbit I have sold this brand quite a few times and I actually sold a dress similar to this but this is a midi dress it's got a little bit of that tiered look if you can see through the lighting uh and yeah I can't find any like major stains or anything like that now that I say that is that a little spot no it's a fuzzy it's a fuzzy <laughs> anyways it's a size small it's adorable it's a nice little summer dress this brand is hit or miss for me these days but it usually does sell for me I think that dress the comps were right around 35 somewhere around there okay I'm gonna hide from the lighting <laughs> or the I have these two weird windows up there and they always bring in some light at odd times of the day so anyways this is a jacket I wore once but I did find it at a regular thrift store and I bought it intentionally uh, to wear for real estate and I did take some photos in it I just really like the texture it's like a gray black texture I used to love wearing Ann Taylor at my previous career jobs and but again, this is just an item that I just don't want to store it. And I did wear it for pictures, so I'm going to sell it. It's a great item. Um, I did find some comps for that exact style, and I think it ran, oh geez, I had to get the hair out of the way. I think the comps ran somewhere between about 30, 35 for that. So, all right, this is a men's sweater I found at the bins. And I liked the color, and it doesn't seem to have any holes, and it seems to be in pretty good shape. This is Banana Republic. It is extra fine merino wool. I love this purple shade. I think it's just a fantastic purple color for a guy. And no pilling or anything like that, almost like they never wore it or wore it once. So this won't get too much, maybe only $20, but I'm happy with that for a Ben's pickup. Okay, so <laughs> this... I found in a bin together and if you can see the color is a little off but it's the same brand I'm assuming someone bought it together but they are like definitely this almost looks blue but it is a shade of black but it's different materials this is a pair of swim trunks men's swim trunks by who we wore what not who what wear who what wear is a target brand this is not target brand we wore what is different um, but these are men's pair of swim trunks with the lining and so it is kind of more of a swim material now i did find the exact style of these and on their website so i was able to list it appropriately they are men's the shorts were a size small and the top is a size extra small but this is still a men's shirt i'm sure a woman could wear it i like but anyways but they are slightly different color like this looks blue next to this but it's just because it's this uh Swim, swim trunk material. <laughs> Anyways, so 
I'm not listing them together. I'm listing them separately. That's the moral of the story. I think the trunks originally retailed for like 150. I think they were on sale at one point for around 100 and I'm listing them. I think I started around 50 or somewhere around there. I'm probably expecting about 35s, but, and then this shirt, I'm probably expecting 30. Um, obviously I listed a little higher to allow room for offers, but yeah. All right, here's a Wilfred, really adorable dress. Wilfred is an Aritzia brand. And this is 100% silk. It's a midi dress, and it definitely is a relaxed fit on the model photos. Uh, it is lined, so it's not super see-through. It's a little see-through up here, if you can see, <laughs> obviously. But uh, it's it's adorable. They have this in uh, color block, like a lighter on top and a black. They had it in a, a couple different shades. And if I could find this in my size, I would. I think I would probably live in it. It just looks so adorable and effortless. But anyways, this is a size medium, and I'm not sure about the comps. I want to say the comps were for the all black were in the 30 to 35 range, if I'm not mistaken. All of this is listed, so you can go to my eBay store and Poshmark closet. I usually expect about 20 to 30% off my asking price, unless it sits for over a year, and then I'm sending out more generous offers. All right, this is Madewell size 12. I tried this on, I, it, I don't really like the fit on the waist for me. It's just not a flattering fit for me. But I do like the fact that it has kind of sheer sleeves. It's a mini, it's lined, it's kind of casual and easy to wear. It does have obviously a little tie up here with um, almost like a little lace up if you can see. So anyways, I think with the right body style, this would look absolutely adorable. So the comps for that weren't that great. I think the comps for that exact dress were in the 25 to 30 range. All right, here's an Athleta jacket. It's kind of a quilted, very lightweight, shorter style jacket. It's not a crop. Again, I tried this one on and it's just not right for me, but I think this is really great to throw over your yoga outfit, to run out the door on a chilly morning um, or a fall or a mild winter uh, morning, but this is Athleta, size large. And I think the comp comps for similar styles, I don't think I found this exact one, were in the 30 to 40 range. All right, here's a scotch and soda men's size XXL. And it's just a gray pullover. It's not quite a t-shirt, not quite a sweatshirt. I've got some, sh some shadows right here, <laughs> but it's kind of like a, yeah. I mean, I would consider this more of a top, but it's kind of a heavier top or heavier. It's not really a tee, but you know what I mean? Anyways, it's just a nice pullover, nice basic, a good size, and the comps are probably right around that 25 to 30 mark. Okay, a couple of my favorite items that I picked up recently are here in a second, so I'll, I'll show those in a second, and then I've got a few shoes at the end. All right, so this is Wild Fox size extra small. So Irish whiskey makes me frisky. I know we're not going into St. Patrick's Day, but oh yeah, someone needs this for next St. Patrick's Day, absolutely. So Wild Fox... Again, it kind of has that pilled material, soft, comfortable, and they do have these little green, green stripes. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty adorable. The comps for that are only like 25, I think. So it's not a high dollar item, but it's cute. Here is a Save Khaki United. I've done pretty well with this brand. Uh, this is a size medium. It's men's, it's made in the USA. It's just a Henley tee. It's got a little bit of pilling. It's not in the best condition. It's a great basic. And this brand does do fairly well for me. In this condition, I'm expecting probably 20 to 25. I haven't been thrifting as much in the last couple months, so I'm definitely pick, trying to pick up more, even if they're not the higher dollar items, but especially if they're brands that I've sold and have done okay with before me. So here's a, I think this is a romper. Yeah, it's a romper. It's an adorable little romper with some lace accents up here. Now this is a collab by Eberge, Eberge and Rebecca Taylor. And so they have some an intimates line in this collab and they have some really adorable stuff. This exact romper, uh, I saw one had sold for 40 and one sold for 25. So I'm hoping for somewhere between 30 and 35 for that. All right, here's a little Madewell sweater cardigan. And it's by no means like a high dollar Madewell item, but I just kind of like the color. It's got this space dye with some pink and blue. It's open front with some pockets. 
just a really easy piece again to layer, especially with a cute, you know, white tee and some shorts. You bring this along, along for a winter or a summer night and it's a nice layering piece. All right, the sunshine is catching up with us. Can we win? <laughs> All right, these are the last two clothing pieces. And this is a, these are both new with tags. This retailed for $498. I did find this at a regular thrift store, but I didn't pay up for it. I, it was only priced like $10. Um, I got it because the size is a US size 12. And I absolutely love the style. I found the stock photo. If I can remember to put that in, I will. Um, but it's this blue velvet and then it has this stunning black lace on the arms and then up here on the top. It's just kind of a little bit of that punk rock, but feminine punk rock look. And you could put this with some Doc Martens and it's incredible. It's honestly incredible. So anyways, I really loved this. I don't think the comps are too great, but I did price a little high, assuming this might not sell until fall or winter. All right, here's a nice little lag and look piece. I know a lot of people hear me say lag and look. That is a style that is popular with uh, a lot of people, but Ann Keaton, the actress, is pretty well known for this style. It's typically a relaxed fit on women. It just looks like rich women, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but this is a lag and look piece. This would fall in that category. I'm not a big style expert, but I love selling lag and looks, so I can kind of spot it a mile away. And this is phenomenal. I'm tempted to wear this. If this wasn't new with tags, I would wear this for real estate at least once, like a video, but it's new with tags, so I am not going to wear it. But it's a size large. The brand is IC by Connie K, made in the USA. And look at that button on front. How fun is that? Anyways, I absolutely love this. Some of the comps new with tags by this brand, even a couple in this exact style. It even has an extra button, which I, I think is great. Uh, we're selling in the 60 to 90 range. So go, go big or go home or just list it and hope for the best. <laughs> or we're hiding from the lighting. So <laughs> thanks for letting me move this around. Uh, all right, so I've got some sneakers and I'm pretty excited about some of them. So I'm gonna start with sneakers and I will save my favorite pair of shoes for the very end. And I don't typically do that, but we're almost at the end anyways. All right. Oh, I do at the end have to put in a few solds and I need to go get my computer computer for that. So that'll actually be the end is a few solds. But anyways, this is a pair of Adidas. I don't remember the style name on everything, but I was able to find the style. Pretty decent condition, light sense of wear. And these are a size nine and a half men's. So, and I think the, con I can't remember. I don't list a lot of sneakers. So I honestly was just like, oh my gosh, sneakers. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I feel like they always get them before me and I just happen to like be at the right spot at the right time. Uh, I stuffed this with a bag. Anyways, here's another pair of sneakers, tennis shoes. If you're on the West Coast, we call them tennis shoes even if they're not to play tennis. Light signs of wear. Hopefully I'll just write on the screen what the style name is because I can't remember and I'll maybe write comps. Here's another, yeah. Okay, so am I keeping these all in order? Yeah, here's another pair of Nike. These I think were the most valuable that I found. Uh, and this was, I can't remember the line. Obviously I'm pretty useless, but hopefully I'm writing some stuff on the screen. Again, they're in pretty great shape. They do have a speckle, a speckled look. It's almost like a glitter look, but that's intentional, if you can see a little bit. So uh, yeah, really great shape, almost no signs of wear on these. All right, here's a pair of very large Brooks. Uh, Brooks is a really great shoe. A lot of runners wear Brooks, so you can see the name right here. This was a size men's 15, just to put things in perspective of my head. Not that that really puts things in perspective, but anyways, really great shape, very light signs of wear. And I think most of these shoes range from 30 to $40 in comps. I think the only exception was this one, which might get closer to 50, if I, if I remember correctly. And then these are Hoka's. <laughs> so Hoka's, I do not find that much. I know a lot of people like finding them. This is not the highest dollar Hoka, but they are still H-O-K-A, Hoka. They do have a little bit more wears than some of the other shoes, but I decided to still grab them. These are size 11, and I think these were a women's shoe. So awesome. Okay, and then the last pair, and then I will include at the very end a few solds that hit sold within a few days of listing recently. This amazing pair of shoes. <laughs> I love these so much. 
Uh, the only comp I found wasn't a comp. It was like a listed price pre-owned of like someone listed it for 400 or 500. I did not list that high. I think I started these at 250 or 299 or something and I'll just see how they do accept an offer at some point, but they're in fantastic uh, condition. They do have some signs of wear, but definitely not much heel drag or anything like that. And just look at this. I know this has a name and I'll put it on the screen because I have zero memory. I have the memory of a fish. Not to offend fish, but I don't think they have a good memory. Anyways, these are size 38 and a half women's. They are Marc Jacobs made in Italy. So I don't know if you can see in there a little bit. This is not, I do not think this is marked by Marc Jacobs or any sort of uh, diffusion line. This is just straight Marc Jacobs. And I believe from my research, these probably retail for right around $1,000. And I love them. Someone can rock these, not me. <laughs> so we'll see. I priced a little high on these, but sometimes you just have to take those risks and I can always lower the price. Um, so let's see what sold in the last few days. Okay, so I have three items that have sold uh, recently, they sold within a few days that I didn't already mention that are getting shipped out or didn't already show you. So one of them I shipped out recently that was a Calypso uh, dress. This was a size large, it was a wrap dress. It sold on Poshmark for, 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 for $40 and it was really beautiful. It looked great on the size six mannequin. I think it would have worked definitely for a size eight or 10 as well. And I was really happy about that because that brand is hit or miss for me. It usually doesn't sell quickly. So that was a fantastic return. Next up was a pair of shoes I bought at the bins. This was a pair of dance shoes. And I think a lot of people were saying they were ballroom kind of shoes or they were, um, they had a low heel or a heel, but they didn't have the tap part on the bottom. So anyways, they were, I think, it, I think they were nude color. I already can't remember the color. Uh, they were nude. They appeared to be unworn. Uh, if there were any signs of light wear, it was just store try on type of thing or someone wore them in a house once to try them on, but it didn't appear that they wore them outside and those sold for $27. And then there was a pair of Under Armour shorts. These were new with tags. I bought them at the bins because they were really lightweight fabric and they were size women, uh, size medium for women's. And when I got home, I realized there was a pull on the back. So I priced a little lower. They still sold very quickly for $10. So, and I, I, because that was such a lightweight item, even though I go with my average cost of goods at the bins based off of everything I bought, that specific item definitely didn't cost too much. So, and I still made a profit. So anyways, that is what I picked up in the last couple weeks. And I have some fun videos coming out and uh, that's it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.